people this is now the from the original video the 100 pound diy e-bike has now evolved um we've now added a front hub motor so that's it that's right we now have a two-wheel drive mountain bike and it's all done um for a little bit more uh, cost than what we had before but we're still running the 250 watt chain drive off the 36 volt battery pack um, and that is also now running the 250 watt front hub um, I know someone said to me why not go 500 watt or 1000 watt well as I understand the, the letter of the law here in the UK you are limited to 250 watts um, so it's no good getting caught by the police herring down the road at 45 miles an hour <laughs> um, that's not going to look good and also it's governed to 15 miles an hour or 15.5 and um, I'm gonna just keep that as it is uh, so I don't I don't wish to circumvent any, any laws but anyway here we are let's, let's get on with the, with, the, with the business okay another 36 volt speed controller is added for the 250 volt brushless hub motor now this is a little bit more complicated you've got um, three wires driving the motor and you've got down here camera person notice the bad welding here um, <laughs> and um, you've got the Hall effect sensor which this has to be in movement for there to be power um, on the on the motor or I think to get more power that has to be rotating faster I think please excuse the wiring it's just been crimped up together to get it going for the video um, all the rest of the bike is the same as the original video and up here we've got the throttle um, it's just a homemade just throttle arrangement um, because obviously that's meant for a, a right hand side but obviously I haven't got a, a left hand throttle and I haven't got a, a push throttle so this is this will have to do there's a little battery monitor on there and also quite a nice little touch that's a little speedometer that I got online um, and that just um, sets it off nicely it keeps it keeps an eye on the speed um, okay around the other side um, this is the standard 250 watt brushless motor quite straightforward to fit um, it should fit most bikes um, and then the rest of the bike is exactly how it was before with the chain drive uh, focusing on the rag mount right in there the rag mount obviously uh, that's going to be changed for a, a threaded um, sprocket drive at some point but mm -hmm. that does as it is um, your rag mount is actually a sprocket bolted to a rag mount sprocket um, <laughs> which works okay it's a little bit low in terms of ratio that could have been a bit smaller but it works quite good you can get a lot of extra power up a hill with it um, but it does cut out quite early and um, I've got no uh, intention to de-restrict it as such okay let's go for a little spin then shall we okay um, right just um, go around here on, on both the motors um, and then see what it's like okay yeah So that's just a front wheel on its own. No, that's not did back wheel and front wheel. That's just a front wheel on its own. Liz, focus on the front wheel. Got it. That's the that's the really really surprisingly powerful for just 250 watts. Um, and then back. Okay. Okay. I think that's about it. If there's any comments or you want to have a like or share, that'd be fantastic. Um, I hope you can read, watch the other video that I did before this, which was a DIY bike, DIY e-bike for under hundred pounds. And um, this is DIY e-bike, two-wheel drive, fantastic fun if you want to do it yourself. Um, okay, that's it. We're out of here.